Now that you've created your ClickMeeting account, you're ready to schedule your first event. Here's a quick way to do it. Log into your account. Then, choose if you wish to host a small interactive meeting for up to 40 people or a webinar for a larger audience. Next, give your event a meaningful name. Please note that it will be visible in the link leading to your event. Then, choose between a one-time only event or a permanent room ideal for more recurring or upcoming meetings to jump in at any time. If you go for the first option, choose a date for your event. Don't forget to select your time zone. Now, decide who can join your event. Anyone who's got the link? Anyone who knows a password? Only those who have a one-use-only unique token? Or maybe those who paid for the access? Before you start inviting your attendees, note that you have many more options in the tabs above, like setting up a waiting room or a registration page, changing the looks and branding of your event, and handy automation. To learn more about those useful tools, find the links to dedicated video tutorials in the description below. For now, let's just click the Create and Invite button. It's a perfect moment to consider running your system test to make sure it can run the event without any technical difficulties. Next, choose Invite People and then Attendees. Now, create an email invitation list. There are several ways to do that, but for now, choose the easiest option. Copy and paste email addresses manually. If you wish to invite your attendees your own way, just click Copy Details and paste it anywhere you need. When you're done, click I've finished adding contacts and choose an invitation email template. After you click the invite button, your contacts will receive an email with a link to the event room. To participate in your event, they need to click the link or paste it into the address bar of their browser. Okay, so your event is scheduled. If you need to modify your settings, just go to the main tab of your account panel. Find your event and expand the actions menu. Next, choose the Edit option. When you're OK with the changes, make sure to save them. It's a good practice to join the event several minutes earlier to prepare and test everything in your event room. Now you're all set. Good luck!